and was a caretaker of the island's magical powers. Whenever he would ski, the water was always flat. The girl's hair was always dry. Things could not be any better. One day, boats started breaking down. Ropes were snapping. The island flooded and all the girl's hair got wet. Oh no, not the girl's hair. Soon the great Kauai drifted away in the night to find his brother Walaka, who he believed stole the magical ski and was never seen again. No, no, no. Are you telling the story again? Look at our back break right out here on the water, ladies and gentlemen. more than a myth. It seems to get bigger every time you tell it. Now kids, don't you have some go play and go find something to do. Don't be listening to these stories. So, what, Kiki, why are you out here Listen to this story again. How many times have I told you right. this story is nothing more than a myth? Well, I mean, with all the bad things that have been happening to us, we didn't start till after Memorial Day weekend this year because of the flood. Last year at State, our boat broke down. We couldn't use it. And not to mention, our girls don't know their intros. Yeah, but these things happen to everybody. I don't, I don't know what you're worrying about. Look what's happening out there on the water. We've started to build things up already. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please and guide them and show them the way things need to be. We need 
to trust in them? I, I know we have to trust in them, but you know, she just hasn't shown a lot of things that are trustworthy lately. You know, she's always playing those video games and she's, she's just not doing everything she should be doing. You know, that's kind of that generation. We gotta look past it. There was things you did that your father and I didn't really care for. Well, like what? I, I don't remember any of those things, but you know, th things can't be that bad. They are that bad, but we do have a curse. I mean, we've lost a boat. Look, out onto the water. It is a sign, a sign to reverse the curse of Boom Island. Well, I don't know if it's some sort of sign or not, but ladies and gentlemen, we've got five skiers behind that boat, all staggered with helmets. It means they're gonna do something dangerous and go all the way around that boat. Making sure everything is fine. Oh, I wonder where Cakey went. I know you don't believe in the curse, or think that there is one, Dad, but I do. I found this book, and it's called Reverse the Curse for Dummies. And one of the things it suggests is to put as many girls on the water and do a fabulous ballet routine. Well, I don't know about you, but 25 girls out there in a ballet line, that scares me.
25 girls off the top. Not the way we'd like to see it, but 25 girls back on the beach. Some people may know it. 
Wikipedia. Yes. And Kitty Lover One Two Four, the author, was very, very specific when describing this person. Now, one of one of the lines in the description is that they are the best show skier ever to bless Boom Island. So Wait. I figured, why not give them a chance, right? Wait a minute. Did you say Kitty Lover One Two Four? That's your source. Not Kitty Lover. Kitty Lover. Even even worse. Wait, what? What? Hey. guessing games right now. <sighs> Whatever. Well, just to sum up the game a little bit, or I mean, end the game. It's Chief Walaka. Chief Walaka? Chief Walaka? Chief Walaka, the one and the only. Story? He Look, stole some right, magical okay. ski? Alright, I know it looks bad, but do not worry, because I have a plan. I have a plan, and don't worry, I'm not going to tell you it right now, because it's a little secretive, but... Oh, uh, I'm afraid when you have your secrets and you, you think you have a plan? I have a plan, I came up with it all by Introduce him to the team, then I'll bring him up by you. Oh, I don't know about this, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome. our next act is ready to go out there on the main dock. Let's welcome our three prefab pyramid team. Now we've been talking a little bit of magic, and they think they can do a little bit of magic out there on the water. You can see they have already started to move around on the shoulders of their their people below them and trying to get into something different. We don't know exactly what they're going to come back through. I never do until they come back through. They're going to make a corner. But as they make that corner, I can see they have already climbed up even higher. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they are still climbing as they're making that corner, coming back into the main show course. And they are going to make it all the way to the top. Let's go. Our conclusion, double top, four high pyramid. Oh, they are doing a great job out there. Like I said, I never know what they're going to come back through with. And what is Kanky thinking with Chief Walaka? I, what is he doing back here? We, we got rid of him a long time ago, and I'm pretty sure that's why my father never came back. And to think that he's back here now, and she thinks he has some magic for this team? This team has all the magic it really needs. You saw it out there just now. You know, I can remember Chief Walaka when I was just... This high, he took our triple rig, entered it into a walleye tournament, and won it. I don't know how, but he won the walleye tournament with our triple rig. Nobody even knew he did it until we smelled all the fish in the boat. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see they have climbed that all the way back down, and we want to bring them all the way back in here to the beach. You can hear, they can hear you out on the water. Let's make it loud for them as they come back in. Uh, that's kind of hard, but I, I mean, 
thinking. It's, it's really hard. But my plan, back to my plan, I'm gonna make him, part, make him think he's part of the team, right? Just when he thinks he's part of our team, we take the magic ski. Boom, plan, done. There was done. no magic ski. I could. It went. Oh my goodness. Hey, look, he comes here, he's coming now. Oh, he hasn't changed a bit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, is this, uh, uh Long Island? No, he doesn't even know where he is. This is Boom Island. Not did, Long Island. No. Did you say Boom Island? I did say Boom Island. What? Woo, that explains why my head was going boom, boom, boom this morning. Wait a minute, what do you have in oh, here? Gosh. Hey, you can't. Hey. Wait a minute, that was my breakfast. Oh, good thing I packed the lunch. <laughs> okay, okay, you haven't even given him a chance to explain himself yet. So, you need my help. Yes. No. Yes, we need all the help we can get. See, we have this thing called a curse, and we hear that you have this thing called, I don't know, a magic ski. So would you be willing to give us the magic ski and, I don't know, reverse the curse on Blue Mind? Uh, a magic ski? Yeah. Well, uh... uh let me think about that for just a I do have a ski here. It is working already. This little shot ski will oh do a little magic. Gosh. How about it? Not the one I was Kids, talking close about. your eyes. Oh. Parents, who's done a little magic with this shot ski? Oh, no. Let's see oh, it. Show of hands. No. All right. I like it. I like no. it. It's not the kind of magic we're oh, talking well, about. Well, this will make you feel 10 feet tall, bulletproof, great dancer, and everything. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, um. You better take care of this. All right, uh, okay, so, um, I, what? No. So, you see, you don't need a magic ski. All you need is me. Oh, boy, you That's know what? If you guys think you can take care of this, you take over the show. You see, I'm out of here. I've right. been traveling all around the world, directing great ski shows, inventing acts that have never been seen, putting tariffs on foreign ski shows, and making American skiing great again. Oh, wow. All right, all right, so in honor of your coming, we put together some of our best acts, and we call it a montage, all right? So first off the deck, let's give it up for Sam doing a barefoot flyer. I'm not gonna wait. Now, wait a minute, you said you were gonna show me a ski show, but that guy didn't have any skis on. And we knew you'd say that, so that's why we have this next step. And so you're saying that this show has some kind of curse on it because I'm seeing some pretty phenomenal skiing and now we've got one guy coming from our right with one ski on and he's wrapping that rope around his back? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Matt. You saw him before with that one ski, Hallie. Let's see it again. Well, a very nice try by that young man. And I see... You're not done yet. Uh, what else do you have built on this dock? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw a prefab pyramid before. We're amping it up a little bit. We're putting out a double top, three high, prefabricated pyramid. Very nice job. Now you see where I came from. We just did like a sitting two ski start or maybe a slalom start, yeah. but a full double top three high prefab pyramid. That's pretty impressive. It's rough. It's hard to do. Yeah. I have got to say I'm impressed with the show so far. And now you've got another person coming from the right, and it looks like he's got on some type of a silly ski that's short and has no fins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming from your right hand side, we've got Carson on that trick ski. Now he's been working on a couple of Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, where are they going here 
I leave them up here to do a show? They don't even do the most important part. I guess I'll have to do it for them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back our double top prefab pyramid. Thank you. What are you gonna do? I guess I'll just have to wing it. Oh, jeez. But, on that note, I think, what do you call a chicken that lays eggs? I don't know, what do you call a chicken with that lays crazy eggs? I forgot it! No. <laughs> should we start that one over? We should start that one over. What do you call a pig that plays tug of war? A pig that plays tug of war? I, I've never heard of this. Pulled pork. Oh. Knock oh. knock. Uh, who's there? Barbie. Barbie who? Barbecue chicken. Oh, you, you know, I think we had barbecue chicken last night for dinner, didn't we? Uh-oh. Did, uh, and there was pulled I, I, pork yesterday afternoon. But, but weren't they in the story? I, th I think they were in story. I, I hope they were at story. I, I thought they were, but... I'm not sure. I, I don't know, but you should probably keep looking for them, because Kiki's going to be wild if you don't. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our crazy lady. But now, down here on our dock, we want to start off with some of those stars of our tribe. Let's welcome Eric and Kylie. Ski. Let's welcome Haley. And Karsten, he likes to do a lot of different things. He's up there just before on that trick ski. Now he's got a lady on his shoulders. Let's welcome in our strap doubles, Karsten and Ella. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the remainder of the Web Footer Star Act. I wonder what my mom's 
got this auto here for. <laughs> She's had this fire going all day. And, oh, well, here she comes, babe. Hopefully she found that pig and that chicken. I don't know. But, how are you doing? I'm doing well. You have a lot of groceries there, and what are you doing with that reverse the curse for dummies? Well, I was reading it, and did you know there's a potion to reverse the curse? Which we really need. Of course, I've been saying we don't need that. But what, what is some potion? It, I, guess, I guess, is it healthy? Is it? Well, it's supposed to make our skiers shine out on the water and perform better. And... You know, perform out up there on the water better, yes. Exactly. Okay, well, I figured know, they could use just a little help. Our stars have been doing really good. No, our three fans did a well, fabulous job out there, so. They did. Did very well. So, what, what's all, what, what all do you have in this? Well, first off, you know, they need some muscle, so we have a little spam. Well, I like spam. Do you got any eggs and rice to go with that? Well, okay. Not yet. But not, no, 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 you're right. Well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, I've got a treat for you out there on the water. We're not done with our star act, but we wanted to give her just a little bit of time to get that water calm. Let's welcome four-year-old Kennedy to the water. That is the future star of the Web Footers right there. probably have some extra of that in there. And, you know, don't forget the castor oil for those PSPs. Oh. Don't we need that? I well, mean, I don't know. I spilled it in the bathroom stop. before you. I, I don't think there's any problem with those pre-show food spot our team. And I thought our show needed a little spicing up. So we have some cayenne pepper. Okay. Well, we should probably be stirring this up a little bit here. Okay, and aren't, I'll aren't, take, stirring it. aren't you going to take the packages off any of that? It's so hot, it'll just melt and blend right in. No Really? Worry. Okay. Well, anything else that we need to put into that? Um, yes. You know, I noticed the girls have been a little moody lately. So oh, that I always helps right the there. Yes, it does. Bars. Yeah, that always helps right there. I really need some of that. Well. And then our show director's blood pressure's been kind of through the roof, and I think today it really is. So we got some spinach, where's that? Well, let's see what that stuff tastes like. All right, let me find a glass. I'll dip it right in here. And there you go. Oh my. Oh, the spam really dissolved. I did, I got it hot enough today. Oh, well, it's really not bad, but fortunately I am saved by the skiers. Ladies and gentlemen, coming in from the right hand side, you can see that they are Doing a great job out there, our swivel line. Now, coming off of our main dock, let's welcome in our staggered, strapped trios. The left hand side, let's welcome in the whip footer conventional line. Now, our next crew 
move. They went off as a scrap for High Pyramid. They have all come down to their partners. And let's welcome in the Web Footers Strat Doubles Line. Conditioning. And I know just how to do it. 
Dewey, guess what? Way back in the 80s, when I used to do this all the time, I was a man of steel. A, ma a man of steel? And yes, I'm afraid and to do you know that. how I knew I was a man of steel? Uh, no, how, how did you know? I'm I sorry. could tell I was a man of steel from the rust marks in my underwear. <laughs> oh, I, ho I hope you did your own laundry. Yeah. Didn't really do laundry, just let it pile up. So anyway, I said to this team, I think there is something you guys could really use. And that is a little physical conditioning exercise I used to do. And you know what it's called? What? Uh, I have, I have a feeling it has something to do with our new outfit. I call it jazzercising. Yes, folks, jazzercising. And you know what, folks? Everybody can join in with this little bit of jazzercising. I even brought along one of my friends here. His name is Chris. And he said, I really like jazz, but I can also quickly convert to jazzercising. Oh boy. No, 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 no. That wow. is the type of jazzercise outfit we like You're to wear. Apart. We have a little bit of a costume malfunction. So DJ, let's go ahead and hit it with a little bit of jazzercising. Okay. You gotta find that boogie body. Yeah. It's time for you guys to move that boogie body. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Feels right. Feel the beat. Boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom. Now take it to the right. The left. The right. Come on, folks. The left. Woo! Yeah! You can find it. Feel it. Do it. All right. Yeah! Woo! We're gonna find that boogie body. Ready? Let's move it. Move that boogie body. Let's move it to the beat. Woohoo! Yeah! You guys are doing great. Now, here's the most important part of all of this. You gotta swivel those hips. Come on, folks. Everybody, let's get up and swivel those hips. Swivel. 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 I'm not seeing it here. Swivel. You know what they say? The bigger the swivel, the smaller the middle. Woo! Yeah! Wait a minute, what are you trying to say? Let's do it, folks. The bigger the swivel, the smaller the middle. Woo! Yeah! Doing a nice job of moving that boogie body. Oh, oh, oh. I think we got somebody else that wants to get in on this act. I'm gonna get out of here. But those boat drivers are working on it too. Yes, they are. Now, you know, it's, it's just not the conditioning, Noah. I know there's more to it than that. Well, I'd have to say conditioning is a big part of it, but it also takes coordination, teamwork, and a whole lot of strength. And I tell you what, there is an act that this team has put together that many have tried to copy, but many have never duplicated. And why don't you tell them what this is? Ladies and gentlemen, you can see them coming in right now from the right-hand side. We've got a pyramid, pulling a pyramid. Two jumpers and a barefooter all behind one boat. That is our show stopper. We're not done yet. We need to bring that barefooter all the way back up here to the stage. And the only way we can do that is if he gets back onto the skis of one of those jumpers. So you're 
saying that barefooter stepped off a ski, but now he's going to have to step back on a ski? Yeah, that's right, he stepped right back onto those skis. I've done some barefooting through the years, but I've never stepped back onto a ski. This really takes coordination, teamwork, and let me remind you of the physical conditioning all due to jazzercising. Well, Edo, I gotta thank you for that jazzercising, because I already feel better. this show, I really can't believe there is any type of a curse. Why, this team is very good. Well, I've been trying to tell my tribe that all summer long, and, and I think they might be starting to get it, but I don't know. There's still still questions in people's mind, I think. Yes. Well, I tell you what. It takes great people like us to remind people from time to time that yes, they really does. need to keep trying, and they need to keep working. And the teamwork that we are going to put together and the work that we are going to do will pull us through without a problem. I think you will. After all, you have to realize we are here at the national tournament. So it did take a little bit to get here anyway. It did and it did and they did put in a lot of work. And then, uh, Kinky, what, what are you doing? Well, whew, did a little bit of rummaging through. Chief Walker's room. Are you gonna are you gonna ride that uh, You were uh, going through uh, my room? Not point. Uh, I've got some no, laundry have to do, ma'am. I found this thing and it says magic ski if you cannot read it. What does it say uh, on the bottom? Magic, magic ski? Magic ski. Now you've been hiding it from us this entire time? Uh, uh, well, um, uh, 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 I do have to say that, you know, when I first came here, I thought I'd better bring along a magic ski just in case you guys didn't believe in yourself. But once I got to know you guys a little bit, you know, I could tell that there was no need for a magic ski. You see, you've had the strength and the coordination to do this show all along. You didn't need a magic ski. And I believe that all along. But you know what? We've got an act going off on the main dock. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dylan with the Barefoot Circle. You know, I, I'd like to see you help us on this last act. Would you? Yeah. Would you join us? I think I could join in yes. a little bit. Why don't you get in do? some proper show ski attire, though, please? I can't believe we just skied that whole show with no magic ski. That's crazy. Well, you know what, Katie? Have you learned anything through all of this? You know what? I think I have. But instead of just, I don't know, saying it, why not sing it? Well. You know what? Why don't you sing us a song? I've been staring at the edge of the water as long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish that I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water trick we take, every goal we track, every goal we make, every thought leads back to a place I know where our team can go, where we long to be. See the line with the road and the boat, it calls me, and we don't know how far we'll go. If we try and we work and believe that we can succeed, and one day who
Yes, her song says it all. All we need is to believe in ourselves, have the heart, and we will succeed. And during today, we, you have seen us put up three prefab pyramids. We put up a double top prefab pyramid. We, we converted that those three prefabs into a double top four high. We had a beautiful opening pyramid. We had our backbreaker come through. All of that culminating one great show. And now we are ready to put one last act out there on the water for you. You can see all those skiers are ready to go. They're handing off those ropes, getting everything ready, making sure all the, the boat and driver and spotter are all ready to go. All of them with smiles on their face still after skiing a long time for you today. And now as that boat starts to pull away from that dock and those coils start to uncoil, Let's give them a big round of applause and welcome them to the water. Ladies and gentlemen, our end pyramid team. people on for the dock. We are looking to see what we're going to put out there for you. Now they are talking and making sure that teamwork comes together and gets the best pyramid out there on the water for you today. As they make that corner, we will see what they have in store for us. And they have all made it up there ladies and gentlemen let's welcome them back through the show course our four two double top three two final pyramid